Most tourists arriving at the new Da Nang International Airport don't know it's been one of Vietnam's most contaminated Agent Orange sites, with dioxin levels in some areas 350 times international safety standards. Nor did I when I was based here in the 70s as a marine aviator. The Agent Orange defoliant used during the war and stored in Da Nang and other air bases leaked into the surrounding areas and is believed to have contaminated local water sources, according to Canadian researchers. In this area, next to the airport, uh, you have people whose uh, dioxin levels in their blood are 100 times the safe level, and you have women whose breast milk is four times the safe level. Larry Vetter, also a former Marine based in Da Nang during the war, moved to Vietnam four years ago after recovering from prostate cancer, one of the presumed Agent Orange-related illnesses, which nearly 700,000 American vets are being compensated for. He's using his VA disability benefits for Agent Orange to help two Vietnamese boys, severely crippled by presumed Agent Orange illnesses. Tuan, the oldest one, is currently in intensive care, now unable to swallow on his own. By the age of eight, he was seriously showing symptoms, stumbling, not having the strength to pull himself up. They saw some American doctors. The American doctors told him that they thought it was uh, likely disease caused by Agent Orange. Because the Agent Orange dioxins contaminate the local water table and nearby fishing ponds around the airport, the health effects have skipped generations and are suspected to be the cause of abnormally high rates of muscular and neurological problems for a new generation of Vietnamese in the area. The family Larry is helping spends most of their day camped out on the hospital's exterior hallways since they are responsible for the feeding and bathing of their sick relatives. The mother Wa really works very hard trying to hold the family together. Her husband is paraplegic, two boys quadriplegic. I opened up a bank account for him, and I was sending him $50 a month. And um, then I got back over here in 2012, and I've been working with him a lot more closely. Which I appreciate. Senator Patrick Leahy was able to enlist rare bipartisan support to fund the first and only U.S. effort to clean up an Agent Orange site here at the former Da Nang Air Base. Three-story oven was built to literally bake the contaminated soil at 600 degrees for six months to cook off the dangerous dioxins before returning it to the site. Here we have both a moral and a humanitarian reason to be involved. It's in our long-term best interest to help bring about stability in Vietnam. The United States has completed the first phase of the cleanup at the Da Nang Air Base at the cost of almost $100 million. Now the Vietnamese want them to clean up another base near Saigon that's even larger that could cost a half a billion dollars. I guess I feel, feel a little bit of a national guilt of uh, what uh, we did here in Vietnam uh, to so many people. I need to, just in my own little way, try to help. While the two governments negotiate the next steps for remediating this dangerous legacy, one American veteran is back in Vietnam's health care trenches working with the new casualties of the war. For ABC News, Mike Saray reporting from Da Nang, Vietnam.